The wetlands of Elkhorn Slough are home to animals, large and small. These wetlands filter water flowing down from the hillsides and hold carbon, an important function in combating climate change. Even with all this life, the slough still faces many challenges. Over the last 150 years, we've lost about 50% of the salt marsh in Elkhorn Slough. Much of this loss is due to the diking and draining of wetlands. When the land is diked, it dries out, shrinking down like a dried sponge. But when the dikes fail and the tidal water returns, the land does not behave like a sponge. It does not re-expand and the tidal marsh is lost. In addition to the tidal marsh, we've also lost a lot of the processes that sustain this healthy ecosystem. Processes like the movement of water, sediment, and nutrients in the estuary. The Tidal Wetland Program was started to better understand the long-term impacts of these changes and to bring coastal decision makers together to try to reverse some of the damage done. There are 15 different agencies that have jurisdiction over the slough, and representatives from each of these agencies serves on the planning team. We want all of their decisions to be made based on the best available science, and we have over 60 scientists from all different disciplines to support that effort. For example, there are hydrologists that understand the movement of water, biologists that specialize in birds or otters, and social scientists that study how people interact with the natural environment. Over the last 16 years, we have worked through the many trade-offs that different management actions will have and are now implementing many of the projects that the group has prioritized. Periodically, we come together to review and reassess the decisions made and draw a new course for the future. Some examples of the restoration projects done include installation of an underwater weir to reduce tidal scour or the scour of soft mud from the estuary, replacement of collapsed culverts to increase fish passage and improve water quality, and the addition of soil to raise areas that have been diked and drained. We are not trying to restore the slough to any particular time in the past, but are trying to bump the system back into being self-sustaining. This also means ensuring the processes are in place so that the slough remains healthy through a changing climate and rising ocean. What we have learned and continue to apply is that if we all work together, we can manage the land better and make real changes on a scale that can have lasting, positive impacts for generations to come.